Hi, all of you. So today we are going to see about another interesting topic on methemoglobin. Yes, and why only traces of methemoglobin is present normally in our RBCs. Yes, so let's reason out this. So before getting into the topic proper, you can download the app Clinical Biochemistry where you have courses for MD Biochemistry as well as for MBBS Biochemistry. Right. So you can check out the course contents and the link will be available in the description box. Right. Yes. So let's let in, uh, let's get into the topic. Only traces of methemoglobin is present normally in RBCs. And why is it so? For understanding that, what is methemoglobin? Methemoglobin is nothing but the hemoglobin. He usually in our hemoglobin, we have the iron in the ferrous state. Right. So in our hemoglobin, we have iron in the ferrous state. Now, when this ferrous state is oxidized to ferric state, then it becomes methemoglobin. So what is the significance of this? Normally, the hemoglobin has the oxygen carrying capacity only in the ferrous state. But whereas when it is oxidized to ferric state, the oxygen binding capacity of the hemoglobin is reduced, right? Also, the cooperative binding is also reduced. So uh, oxygen carrying capacity and the cooperative binding are lost when you have methemoglobin. All right, so methemoglobin is nothing but hemoglobin in which the ferrous is oxidized to the ferric state. That is what is methemoglobin. Now, what are the causes? What are the causes? What are the different causes by which the ferrous is converted to ferric state? That is, of course, the reactive oxygen species, right? Due to the presence of or exposure to the reactive oxygen species and oxidative stress. They can be chemicals and also drugs. And also deficiency of the second factor is the deficiency of NADH-dependent methemoglobin reductase system. So we'll be understand, we'll be learning about the importance of this in the second slide. So this is the due to deficiency of this enzyme system also, we have increased methemoglobin formation. Also, inheritance of HBM. So HBM is a hemoglobin variant which has higher propensity to produce methemoglobin. So these are some of the important causes that you should know which is responsible for conversion of this hemoglobin to methemoglobin. All right. So the hemoglobin normally has iron in the ferrous state. If you look into the picture, it has the oxygen binding capacity. Also cooperative binding is present here. Whereas when it converts converted to a ferric state, it becomes methemoglobin and it has the oxygen binding capacity is, is absent here. Likewise, methemoglobin, hemoglo sorry, hemoglobin to methemoglobin, gets, it gets converted. And if you can see what converts the hemoglobin to methemoglobin, of course, the causes that we had seen, right? Oxidative stress or deficiency of the enzyme system, which is responsible for the enzyme system is responsible for reconversion of this methemoglobin to the hemoglobin, functional hemoglobin. When that particular enzyme system is absent, then methemoglobin formation will be increased, right? So let's see how this happens. So normally in the red blood cells, what did we see? In the red blood cells, normally the hemoglobin is in the ferrous state, right? It is in the ferrous state. Now, due to the exposure to any oxidant, uh, oxidative stress, it gets converted to methemoglobin. Now, this methemoglobin has the iron in the ferric state, all right? So, now we have to reconvert this ferric state to ferrous state by an enzyme system, all right? By the enzyme system. So, that enzyme system is what is responsible for reconversion of this ferric state to ferrous state, or in other words, producing the methemoglobin to me functional hemoglobin uh, is mainly by the particular enzyme system. And what is that enzyme system? It is nothing but the NADH cytochrome B5 methemoglobin reductase system. It is a very important system. So, that is what is the importance of this discussion all right so first what happens we have the cytochrome b in the oxidized state now with the help of nadh we have the nadh so with the help of nadh with the help of this nadh it transfers it, it converts this cytochrome b5 to the reduced form right it transfers the electrons from nadh to the cytochrome B5. So that by cytochrome B5 becomes the reduced form. So what converts it? By the cytochrome B5 reductase system, which is also called as the methemoglobin reductase enzyme. All right. Now, again, what happens? Now this reduced cytochrome B5 then transfers the electrons from, uh, transfers the electrons to the methemoglobin so that the ferric state gets converted to the ferrous state. Right, so thereby ferric state converts to the ferrous state. Thereby, we have restored the normal function of the hemoglobin. 
right so that is why that is why normally this function is happening is going on happening whenever you get exposed to the uh you know free radicals normally your hemoglobin will get the globin so to bring back the functional hemoglobin this enzyme system works harder all right so what is the source of the electrons here so now we have seen that we need nadh yes you need nadh this is nadh dependent so where does this nadh come from it comes from glycolysis which is happening inside your rbcs now in the uh, the glycolysis in the step, well, what step glyceryl 3 phosphate dehydrogenase step produces nad yes produces i mean sorry produce uh, converts the nad to nadh in this step and this nadh is being used up for by this enzyme system all right so that is why this nadh is very important so nadh is supplied by a glycolysis which is happening normally in the rbcs all right so this system this efficient system nadh dependent yes let me write it again nadh cytochrome b5 methemoglobin reductase enzyme system that is what is very important so efficiency of this enzyme system helps us in such a way that only traces of methemoglobin is present normally in the rbcs so whenever the all of uh, this functional system is damaged it is uh, it is reduced when this enzyme functional enzyme reduces there is, there is deficiency of this enzyme then we are more prone for development of methemoglobinemia right so now can you understand only why only traces of methemoglobin is present normally in rbcs it is because of this enzyme system which is functioning effectively in our rbcs all right yes thank you all let us see again with the next video with a interesting topic